Essex Police has teamed up with the Garden Centre in Frinton and other local companies to launch a secured by design garden. This real life garden has been put together by an award winning designer and crime reduction officers to show visitors what steps they can take to help protect their garden and home. What we've created here is a small courtyard garden and um, I think so often people struggle to know what to do in a small space but really a small space gives you a great opportunity to create something quite special. Its title is Secure by Design which gives people ideas that they can incorporate easily into their own gardens which will help to give them a peace of mind and be more important to make the items that commonly get stolen um, less likely to do so. We want people to realise that there's a lot of valuable property in your garden. It should be a place of peace and tranquility, pride and joy for some individuals. So for us it was about making people aware of just what can be done um, from the safety point of view, from the aesthetic point of view, but actually from a crime point of view there is an awful lot that, that can be stolen from gardens and need to be protected. The garden highlights lots of simple measures you can take to make life harder for thieves. These steps can help you feel safer without turning your home into a fortress. Fit with an internal alarm, secure tools with a padlock and chain and lock the door with a sturdy all-weather padlock. Rear fencing should be two metres high, including a trellis to support plants, but not the weight of a potential intruder. Lighting can deter or draw attention to thieves. Use energy-saving bulbs activated by a dawn-to-dusk sensor. Gravel is noisy to walk on, so think about using it close to your back door. Gates should be solid, flat-faced and the same height as the fence. Consider topping the frame with plastic spikes. Secure planters by anchoring them to the ground. What I felt with this garden was it was going to be a design that's very simple, based on a quite a tight limited budget, but what we wanted to do was um, create something that people could come and see and then perhaps take some of the ideas away with them and translate them into their own gardens. The most important thing we want people to take away from their visit today would be that they think about crime, think of garden as being an extension of their home and that they do something to secure their garden furniture so that they actually can enjoy their own garden.